Hi folks, this is Vicki from PatternPrincess.com and today I wanted to show you how to do this beautiful alpine stitch. It's um, really pretty easy. It's a repeat um, of four rows. Once you get up past row seven, then you're going to repeat rows four to seven. There is a swatch um, I made with Lion Brand Kobu. I think that's how you say it. And it is a number three weight yarn and it calls for a size G hook. I used one size larger so that the bottom, this is the bottom here, it doesn't curl up. And I also have the row of single crochet here too. But there isn't any curling problem. Um, and, it, and it's a little bit of a looser stitch. You don't want to use a real tight stitch with this Alpine stitch because it will you will have some curling. So let me get on with today's tutorial. What I've done already is I've done a chain of 15. Some patterns call for an even number of stitches to start with. Some patterns call for odd. It depends on what they're having you do the first row. So just make sure you pay attention to the pattern directions. Um, that'll tell you what, where to place your hook and what stitches. Today, I'm using the odd number. Um, so again, this is 15 stitches. I suppose I should tell you, um, I'm using a Karen Simply Soft for this um, little demonstration here. And um, I'm using an I size hook. This Karen Simply Soft normally calls for an H hook, but I'm going one size larger, just like I did the other, and then you don't have any problems with any curling. So, okay, so we started off here with our um, chain of, our odd number of chains, which is 15, and then we're gonna do row one, and in the second chain from the hook, so this is the first one, this is the second one, we're going to work a single crochet, and then in each one across. So we can do that, right? Just a single crochet. And I would say at the skill level for this crochet pattern is probably advanced beginner or if, you know, just, just into intermediate. Like I said, once you break down the stitches, it's not quite so bad to do. So we're just gonna quickly single crochet all the way through on this bottom row here. And this is one of the setup rows. Remember, um, until we get to row four, it's all kind of a setup row. And we're almost there. And then, whoops. And you gotta make sure that you do your last stitch here. Make sure you get into that last chain. And then we're going here, so here's our single crochet row. Now we're going to turn it. And then we're going to um, chain two, we're just going to chain two and then we're going to do our double crochet all the way across. Now this chain two counts as our first stitch here. All right, so then we're going to work into this stitch here. This is the stitch we start with. Okay, if the stitch, if the chain two did not count, then you would work into that first stitch. Sometimes I think, um, crochet patterns can be confusing on exactly which stitch to start in. And after this double crochet, we're just gonna have one more row of single crochet. It'll just take a minute to get to the end. I should have music playing while we're doing this. I'm going to put just a little bit more yarn. Okay. And then make sure you go into that very last stitch because otherwise your border will not look quite right. So let's put this down. So now we see we have our single crochet row and our double crochet row. And now we're ready to go on to row three, which is another single crochet row. Okay, so we're going to chain one. This is my turning chain. Um, I like to use it when I single crochet because it's easier to get in the stitch. So then because it's a chain that's not going to count as a stitch, I'm going to go right into this first stitch and work my single crochet. And then we do our single crochet all the way across. So that's pretty easy, right? I don't know if you can hear the wind. The wind is really blowing out there today. I think we have storms blowing in. Oh, 
Okay, we got one more left. And you can always tell when you have the right number of stitches too, when it aligns. Each stitch should be right above each other. Okay, so now we're gonna come to our row four, which is our kind of our magic row here. And with row four, we're gonna work our first front post double crochet in the first stitch right after we, well, first we're gonna do is our chain two. The chain two counts as a double crochet. We're only using a chain two, not a chain three that you'd normally have with a double crochet because the height will be too tall. Because of the front post double crochet, we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna work down here. So here's our row of single crochet. Here's our previous row of double crochet. We're gonna go around that post. So we're in front of this one, around this post in front of the second one, yarn over, bring our yarn through, yarn over, come through two loops, yarn over through two loops, okay? We're gonna yarn over, and now in that, that it'd be the third stitch. So the two double crochet was the first stitch. We skipped that second single crochet and we went down to the post. Now that third stitch is just gonna be a double crochet right in that single crochet stitch. Okay, so this is how we're looking so far. Looks pretty goofy now. That's okay, it's gonna straighten out. So we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna do another front post double crochet in that next stitch, the next double crochet that's below. And then a double crochet in the next stitch that's on the, in the single crochet. And we're gonna keep alternating between so right here, this lines up, and you can always tell every other row, so we have our front post, and then our double crochet on top of our single crochet, our front post, and our double crochet. Now we go into the next stitch, which is right here, because you always gotta be skipping one, is right here we do our next front post, and sometimes you just gotta take a minute to look at it and make sure that you know where you are, and then our, whoopsies, I missed a loop, single crochet. Okay, you see it's starting, to, it's starting to create some texture and come along. And then we yarn over, skip this one, go to this one, and do our front post double crochet. Yarn over, and then we go right into that single crochet and do a double crochet. And then here's our front post below again. We skip this one, we go to this one. And sometimes if you notice, I had to move my yarn down. I'm gonna show you on the next one. Sometimes when I bring my yarn and I'm going to go down here, well, now it came up fine, but sometimes when I bring my yarn around my hook, it catches on the yarn up here, and then I'd have way too big a loop. So I kind of make sure that I'm bringing my yarn down close to my hook, and then wrapping it around, and then finishing my stitch. That's one of the things that I'm paying attention to as I'm working it here. And then we have one more front post double crochet, did you see how I just brought that yarn down because it was gonna stick? And then we do a double crochet in the last stitch. So that was the hardest part of doing this pattern, right there. That row was by far the hardest part. And you can do that, right? It's just a front post double crochet. And now the next one, we're gonna do a single crochet. Okay, so here's our single crochet row. I'm gonna get my yarn set up again. So I'm gonna chain one. It doesn't count as anything when I do that. And so I'm gonna single crochet into the first stitch. And then I'm gonna single crochet in every single stitch. All the way across. And we've only got two more rows to learn, which you're gonna be amazed at how simple. And then it's just a repeat again of rows four through seven. We're gonna quickly do this single crochet row because I bet you by now, you probably know how to do this. And then I gotta make sure now, I gotta make sure I look at my stitches. So it can be, I almost for a second thought I just had one left, but if you look, you have, I'm right here. Okay, this single crochet, I have to look at where I am. I'm right here, and so I'm gonna put my hook in here and I still have one more that's right here, but it's kind of scrunched. So I'm gonna put my hook in there. Okay, we have our single row done. 
And now we're going to go on and we're going to finish our next row, which is what row we're going to be on. We're going to be on six. Okay, so let's go into six. So we're going to have our chain two, which does count as a double crochet. And then since our post, you can tell our post is up here. And then the, where we did just the double crochet, it's back here. So what we do is any, we alternate. So now because we had the front post double crochet below, we're going to just do a double crochet. And remember this first stitch is a chain two. So we're gonna work into this stitch right here. Okay. And we're gonna do a double crochet. And then, now it's easy to find your other stitches that you gotta work in. Because these are the ones that are in front. So what we're gonna do is our alpine, or I should say our front post double crochet into this double crochet that's like a little bit they're behind the other. It doesn't stick up like the other ones do. So we're gonna do our front post double crochet here. And then we do a double crochet into the next single crochet. And so then we're off to the races. We're just alternating our front post double crochet. And again, you can tell where it is. These are ahead of this one. This one's kind of tucked behind. So we put a hook in there. We yarn over, bring it through two, and yarn over, bring it through two. So we just finish the row here. And we skip this one here. And that's really all there is to it. And if you wish, you could, if I'm going too fast for you, you can slow up a YouTube video. Um, if I recall, you just go to the three dots and you ask for it to be slow. You just pick the speed of your video. And now this one here, it has the front post um, double crochet here. So then you're going to just do a double crochet there. If it was the double crochet there that was in the back, then you would do a front post yet. So in this one here, we're gonna end up with, just because of the stitch, stitch count that I have, we're gonna end up with two double crochet. And that's okay. And so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna turn and then you're gonna chain one and then you're gonna do your single crochet again. So this is row seven. So you've just gone through the row four through seven pattern repeat. So again, the toughest one is being able to do the double crochet and then the double crochet that's really the front post double crochet and alternating those. That's really, for me, the hardest part. And it takes a little bit of time. The stitch is a little bit of a yarn eater, um, but gosh, the texture that you achieve is just beautiful. And it can be used in so many different projects. And I'm just gonna hurry and do my single crochet here to show you. How lovely, it's all crunched up because I was holding it. <clears throat> but how lovely this is looking. So I hope that you give the Alpine Stitch a try. And again, this is the back, this is the front. It just has really pretty texture. You can see like little, little bumps here, little ridges. So give this a try and please remember to like, share and subscribe. And you can find all kinds of free patterns on PatternPrincess.com. I hope you check us out. Take care.